Okay, this is a Yamaha high pressure direct injection uh, known as HPDI. It's a Yamaha. This is a um, 200 horsepower and you know Yamaha high pressure direct injection. Okay. The way you open it up, it has latches. One here. It's got another one on the starboard side. And then it has one here. Now the best way to do it, it has handles here. Just lift it up. So I'm gonna put the camera down a second and I'm gonna take the uh, cover off. Okay, now with the cover off, we can see the different components of your motor. This is the starboard side of the motor. You have your starting motor right here. You have your O2 sensor here. This is, uh, gets very hot by the way. This is uh, something that you want to clean. Uh, check it out, unscrew it from there. Maybe I'll make a video on how to do that. But this needs to be clean. You have here some fuses. Here's a box you take uh, the screw off. You have fuses here, okay? And then you have your controls, your rod controls down here for the shifter and the acceleration. Your thermostat is located here, one of them anyway. And then you have spark plugs. You have number one cylinder, number three cylinder, number five cylinder. This is on the starboard side. Then you have on your port side, you have the other thermostat, cylinder number two, cylinder number four, and down there you have cylinder number six. If you notice, I'm curious, cylinder number one in relationship to the one on this side, cylinder number two, it's the highest. So if you forget where the cylinders are, number one is the highest. So if you go here, you, you go and find out it's much higher or it's higher than number two. So that's how you know that it's number one. You can start off as a reference there, number one being the highest, okay? Then you have your coils for number one, for number three, and for number five. These are your coils. Coil for number two, coil for number four, coil for number six. Then you have your oil. This is the oil that's kept inside the motor. You have another tank that keeps, uh, that's where you fill it up. You have ball filter. You have your medium pressure filter right here. Your VST has a filter in there and then you have your fuel pump inside this VST and behind you have also two fuel pumps which I have a video I'll link it so you can check it out and how to uh, replace it there back here one here there's two in this engine okay so that's a little um, tour of the engine now I want to talk about starting up this engine because a lot of people uh, have had issues and I looked at uh, different forums and I couldn't find an answer to a lot of the things that I have discovered the hard way um, which is the starting up of this engine as far as what cylinders are running what cylinders are not running because if you do a cylinder test uh, a spark plug test on these engines at idle in neutral 
you will notice that there are two cylinders that are not firing so I'll go over that okay so here we go there are other components but that's what I want to uh, cover today okay so I'm gonna get the water running here uh, this is a little setup that I did in, in my house if you like it I don't mind you copying it just a uh, PVC that I ran with a short hose connection that comes in so I'm just gonna and it just makes it easier by just starting uh, turning this knob here we get the water so I'm gonna start it up and then I'll sh sh show you the idle and uh, the two cylinders uh, it's only gonna be running on four at idle okay and then we'll see what happens when you run it. Uh, when you put it into gear, I'll go ahead and uh, talk about what happens when you put it into gear. Okay, so we're gonna get it, this uh, baby started. So let's go in. Get it started. I'm gonna put your battery, put it on one. And then we want to um, prime the bulb. Okay, nice and primed. And now we want to turn the uh, the key on. I like to leave it for just a few seconds so the fuel pump fills up. And here we go. Okay, so the motor is running on idle for this part of the video I'm going to take the music off and everything listen as I pull number two off and number three the motor will not change I'll stay at the same idle and beat check it out Now what this tells me is that cylinder number two and cylinder number three are not firing when it's in idle, in neutral. No change when I put them back, but look what happens when I remove the ones that are fired. Number one, check it out.
Now while in gear, I removed two and three, and you can definitely tell the difference in idle and in sound. Alrighty, as we reach the conclusion of this video, four things I would like to point out about the Yamaha HPDI 200 horsepower six cylinder. In neutral idling, it will be at four cylinder. Cylinder number two and three will not be firing. So it's not that it's broken, it's that that is the way it's set up. Number two, if in neutral, you rev it up to past the 1800 RPM mark, you will drop two additional cylinders. Number three, in gear, you will have six cylinder. Number four, when you are in gear and you're racing, the only thing limiting you will be the rev limiter. Now, I would like to ask four things of you. Number one, is that you subscribe to the channel. Number two, that you hit that notification bell. Number three, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. And number four, put your comments in there. We really appreciate it and we really enjoy bringing these videos to you. Florida for Funshine. See you next time.